Watching Sight Sounds Flavors here on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com, ExploringKentucky.com. We are here in Glasgow, Kentucky, county seat of Barron County. And uh, I want to show you the courthouse as well. Folks will be happy to zoom in real fast. So I always got dinged for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a walk here. And I'm expecting to be here for at least a good 20, maybe 30 minutes. This is a beautiful city. We got a nice bistro here. And uh, nice tables outside. We got an artist pad. So as we said, Glasgow is the seat of Barron County. And um, a lot of my clients come from Glasgow. I'm an attorney and uh, work with a lot of good people from here. And I've always wondered what uh, the city looks like. The courthouse is beautiful. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. I really, really like it. Got some good signs here. Cultural Center, Fort Williams, tourist information. This. Uh, Commerce Plaza building is real nice as well. And we're going to walk up into the courthouse grounds as well. Check out that truck. That's a nice truck. Got the Plaza Theater down the street here. A lot of pickup trucks. Vintage ones, new ones, the works. Interesting center walkway. Subway restaurant. I don't normally call Subway a restaurant, but it looks really, really nice from the outside. A lot of law offices. Again, we are around the courthouse. I love these buildings. See these more in northern Kentucky, like Covington, Newport, that sort of thing. That's pretty cool. Progress drop box. Steps. more steps and this is a pretty steep drop you got a tattoo parlor over there folks are gonna be like you're zooming fast again and be like I'm sorry but I, I get grief for that folks people don't like when I zoom too much but you know that's the beauty of having a high-powered video camera I'm using a Sony AX43, fantastic lens, and um, really saves me a lot of walking. I love to walk, and I want to show you as much of the cities I cover as possible, but within reason. So this is the Plaza Theater. Wow, that's pretty cool. How's it going? Hi. Very nice. So. I wanted to take a picture of the theater. Got another pickup truck over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the courthouse. Right now we are on North Green and East Main. Got our friendly Glasgow police officer there. Brookshire Hathaway Home Services. That's for rich folks, I'm pretty sure. But hey, rich folks need houses too, right? Especially. Ben Rogers and Brian Driver, attorneys at law. Here's another angle of the courthouse. And uh, that's a big drop, as we already said. Glasgow Barron County Tourism. Interesting to see Glasgow Barron County, where you got the city and the county. I've seen that also uh, done in Hazard. I've seen that done in Louisville, like Louisville Metro. 
Although not really because it wouldn't I've not seen anything like Louisville Jefferson. But some cities will do that. They'll put the city next to the county. For example, like Miami Dade County in South Florida. How's it going? Good. Are you? Good, thank you. So they do that sometimes. Uh, some counties will put the county and the city in the same uh, name. For example, like I just said, Miami Dade County, it's Dade County, the city's Miami. They put them together, and that's the name of the county. It was also the name of the college, Miami Dade Community College, where I went to. MDCC, now it's MDC. Um, this is like a little stretch of downtown. There's a stop sign, so I'm not obstructing traffic. I'm gonna go ahead and cross now. Thank you, still, thank you. Even though I have the right of way, I still say thank you. Um, I don't know if you can tell here, but there's a lot of uh, dips and we're going uphill now. So if it sounds like I'm short of breath, it's because I'm short of breath. Um, this business here looks closed as does this one. <clears throat> Glasgow Realty Auction, they may be open. Bishop and Bishop Insurance, they're open it looks like, or not really, but they're open in the sense that they're in business, but they're not open today. Today's Saturday, so it would be odd for a insurance company to be open on a Saturday I mean I don't know vinyl lounge private venue arcade craft beer on tap nice got the uh, Barron County Sheriff's uh, van there possibly a prison transport maybe Barron County Cattlemen's Association I saw Cattleman's, I thought it was a restaurant, but it's actually the uh, Cattleman's of like the people that actually have a cattle association. Hi. Huh? What? Do you want to come in? What? Do you want to come in the bar? Oh, no, 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 I'm just taking oh. a little video. Oh, okay. Thanks. Luska Joseph Twyman, born in Highsville, I'm guessing is how you say, graduate of Kentucky State University, later member of Board of Regents, also studied at Indiana University, and Peabody Cole is principal of Ralph J. Bunch Guessing School. Twyman led its merger with Glasgow High School to achieve integration. The Kentucky Education Association Board of Directors buried Bear Wallow Cemetery. It's very interesting. I wonder when. Uh, they integrated. I'll tell you, Louisville uh, does not have a proud history in integration. They did not integrate their schools until 1975. And not only that, but amidst violent protests throughout Louisville. So even in 1975, a lot of folks in Jefferson County did not want desegregation, which is, like I said, nothing to be proud of. Uh, this here is Glasgow, Kentucky Veterans Wall of Honor. And that's very, very nice. Reminds me of the uh, Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. And that's probably the point of this. It's very, very nicely done. Sun's starting to come up a little bit, but believe it or not, it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. So we've been able to get some very cool, literally cool, Footage of uh, Bonneville, Mumfordville, Cave City, and now Glasgow. This is the Barron County Board of Education here. We are on uh, South Race Street and West Washington Street. And uh, there's more stuff down that way. Like I said, there's a stop sign here, so I'm not obstructing traffic. Still say thank you because that's the nice thing to do. <clears throat> so, that Glasgow mural, which will be the cover of the video, it's absolutely beautiful. I really enjoy when cities take the time to welcome guests, but also keep the community feeling welcome. 
and then from here we're going to be going to Bowling Green which I believe I say I believe because it's up for debate but I believe it's Kentucky's third largest city a lot of people say Northern Kentucky is but Northern Kentucky is not a city it's a region it's not even a county it's a region it's a cluster of counties so whenever people say that they're like biggest city is Louisville okay we're agreed second biggest Lexington okay we're agreed and they say Northern Kentucky I'm like Northern Kentucky that's not a city in my opinion and I may be wrong here please correct me if I'm wrong with stats please I believe the third largest is Bowling Green and, and I may be mistaken but I believe the fourth largest is E-Town but I, there I may I'm probably mistaken on number four but number three I'm pretty sure Bowling Green is the third largest city and that's gonna be our final destination so we've done the full walk around the courthouse but now I want to walk around the grounds of the courthouse the front at least which is open to the public and like I said this is a really really beautiful courthouse they have a uh, Korea monument 1950 to 53 and Korea could easily have become World War III because General MacArthur was hard of hearing when President Truman told him not to go into China he went in anyways and uh, I believe we went in with uh, two or three divisions and the Chinese were kind enough to meet us with ten and uh, it was not a good uh, it was not a good time and uh, fortunately, World War III was averted, but it could have been World War III. So this is the Barron County Courthouse. And like I said, very nice uh, memorial there to the Korean War veterans. And uh, I really like this little gazebo they have over here. That gentleman from the bar, I want to send kudos to, um, to that establishment for coming out to see if I wanted to come in. And that is uh, very, very hospitable because a lot of times people with cameras get chased away. Very rare, very seldom if ever do they get invited in. So that's really, really nice and I appreciate that. Uh, There's a very nice gazebo here. And uh, nice place to sit. And we could read about Barron County also. Zoom in here a little bit so you could read as well that because my camera went sideways but uh, Barron County 1798 is when it was founded from parts of Green and Warren counties. Glasgow County seat was founded in 1799. County received name from the barons or prairies of the region. Early explorers and settlers came through this area in the Civil War. First two of Morgan's raids moved through here in 1862. The CSA invasion of Kentucky under General Braxton Bragg entered here in 1862. So again, uh, Kentucky was a very, very focal part of the Civil War. It did not secede from the Union. It was a border state, but it sent men to fight on both sides. And although not uh, something that we take any joy in remembering, but actually sent more troops, more men to fight for the South than it did for the North. Very nice stairwell here gonna go ahead and walk up the stairs a lot of folks are like but that's the courthouse I'm like yeah that's the courthouse this is the people's house every brick has been paid for by the taxpayers so going in when it's locked would be trespassing but walking up the steps and admiring is not and uh, right across the street is the Barron County Government Center this building here looks particularly old, as does this one here. Very, very nice view. Got a, a monument here, or a plaque, I should say, Prisoners of War. Upon this marker, the names of those Barron Countians who, through the misfortunes of war, fell into the hands of the enemy, sometimes unwillingly abandoned by their country. That's a very powerful. Sometimes unwillingly abandoned by their country. They were abused, starved, and exposed to unspeakable cruelties. Their loyalty and sacrifice remain as an inspiration to their countrymen. That's very powerful. Sometimes unwillingly abandoned by their country. And you got uh, World War II, actually World War I, World War II, Korea, the 
it's uh, I'm gonna read that one more time. Sometimes unwillingly abandoned by their country. I I, uh, I think that's very very powerful. We don't ever. I've never seen. Uh, I've never seen that written on a plaque or a memorial or anything. Ever. So that's. Uh, what did I read that like four times or something? Again, that that's uh, very thought provoking, and it also kind of. Um, kind of pulls at the heartstrings there a little bit just it's just it's just not a it's, it's a reality yes but it's you don't like to think about it like that because you know it's uh but that's why that black flag you know flies along the uh flag of old glory all the time the you know pow flag it's not just pow's but it's mia's missing in action you know there's a lot of troops that just you know fall behind enemy lines or are captured and Look at uh, the late uh, John McCain, U.S. Senator. He was a POW in the Hanoi Hilton. And when given the opportunity to be freed early, he refused. I mean, they don't make them like that anymore, I'll tell you. And then again, they probably do, but we just don't know about it. Again, that's why we have to really be grateful to the men and women that serve our country, the military, the police, first responders as well. Most definitely as well. Think of all the first responders that died the World Trade Center. They went into those buildings knowing they were probably going to collapse. They went in those buildings trying to save lives. You got you to be grateful for that. You have to. Absolutely have to. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed our tour here of uh, Glasgow, Kentucky, county seat of Barron County. For Sight Sound Slavers on YouTube, SightSoundSlavers.com, ExploringKentucky.com. Thank you very much. Hope you uh, will like subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video.